Josh, was that one of those days you just started badly and got worse? Start bad. Uh, after a few seconds, you are losing uh, one nil, and then um, you are close to the one one. And in another defensive mistake, they scored the two nil. And then um, you are close to the two one, and they score three nil in a counter attack. And then you are close to the three nil to the three one, and they score the four nil in counter attack. And then. If we play maybe 10 more minutes, we are close to the 4-1 and they score the 5-0 again in, in counter-attack. So you come with, um, with um, a strategy you cannot concede the goal the way we did in the first minute. And after that, that changed completely the game. How much does it throw you out when your game plan goes out the window after just 30 seconds? It goes out of the window, but we were coming to, to have also an offensive uh, approach. Uh, we wanted to create chances, we want to score goals. Uh, and we showed that immediately after the one nil, where we we had immediately chances and positions and uh, and saves by by Courtois. I think in the end Courtois had more saves than uh, than De Gea. Every time they go there, they score a goal. The second and the third goal are counter attack goals, where the team is is completely balanced to to the counter attack. And I told that to the players that we should take the the risk in the second half, knowing that they are very good in in counter attack. But if we score a goal like we almost did for the 2-1, the game would be completely different. But it's one of, of these days where you give the advantage to the opponent um, by doing nothing to do it. They were winning 2-0 after uh, 20 minutes or 25 minutes. After that, they played well. They were uh, defensively compact. They defended well and they used what, what they have uh, best, which is counter-attack, to score the third and the fourth goal. So what was wrong with your team today? In the first minute, you analyze the goal and you see immediately what, what, what happened. We made incredible defensive mistakes. We made incredible defensive mistakes, um, individual defensive mistakes, and you pay, you pay for that. And then if you equalize uh, after the 1-0 or if you score the 2-1 after the 2-0, the you have a, a chance and a big chance because in terms of football, the team was quite comfortable. We knew that we were going to have space with our fullbacks, the way they play. Uh, our fullbacks, they have a lot of space to play, and we could build from from these positions. We did that in the second half. We played with Rashford uh, through the middle to to create more uh, more mobility from from Zlatan position. We played just with two midfield players. We had no problems at all. We had control of the game, but the control is a bit um, is a bit dangerous because uh, Chelsea has. Uh, great players to play in counter attack, and they were just just waiting for that. We don't know how it might have affected things, but do you think David Luiz should have been sent off? You know, I don't want to speak about it. Uh, if I speak about the referee, you are going to say you lose four 0 and you speak about about the referee. So I prefer not speak. What does today do in terms of setting you back? What does in terms of points uh, does uh, zero points. When you lose one nil or when you lose four nil, you lose three points. You don't lose. You don't lose four, five, or six points. You lose three points. We are six points from the top of the league. Uh, we are, I think, three maybe from the top uh, three or four from the top four uh, position. And we need now to win uh, to win matches. And we had a week with two matches away against two candidates, Liverpool and, and, and Chelsea. And now other teams from the top uh, five, they will have to play in between themselves. They have to, to, to draw and lose two points each. They have to, to win one and lose another one. And uh, we need to win our matches now, which are not easy. But we play, we play Burnley, we play Swansea, we play West Ham. We need now to win, to win matches to close that gap, but after and then these last three matches in the league where we had two draws and, and, and one defeat, so we made two points out of, out of nine. Now what we need is points. The result obviously spoilt it, but what did you make of your reception you received here from people around the club and also the crowd today? No, um, fine. I was expecting anything. I was not expecting anything, anything different. The people inside, inside of... Um, uh, of the tunnel, uh, the friends are, are friends. The ones that were not special friends are not special friends, and um, the crowd behaved in in a normal in a normal way. So nothing wrong. Lastly, you looked like you had words with Antonio Conte towards the end. What was that about? Yeah, it was with Antonio, not with you. 
Can you tell us roughly no, what it's about? Was it complimentary? Of course not. I will speak with Antonio, not with you. I'm sorry. Okay, Jose, thank you. Thank you.